Hi everyone, welcome in SAS program in 90 days. Today is a day two. So first is uh, types of data. So uh, we have two types of data in every programming in everywhere: structured data and unstructured data. So what is structured data? Structured data is defined rows and the columns, and unstructured data is no defined columns. Structured data easy to understand and analyze. Unstructured data difficult to read and understand. Structured data examples are SAS, Microsoft Excel, and Teradata. This is all are the structured data. And unstructured data is text files, delimited files, JSON files, and the web blog. This is my unstructured data. Okay. Next is the global statement in SAS. So a SAS global statement is a string SAS keyword, SAS name, special characters. Global st uh, statement used to outside from a data and proc statement. Global statement does not need run statement. Okay. So this is uh, uh, the global statement title options and the lib name. Okay. So we will start with the title. So what is the title statement and how we are using the title. Okay, so uh, let's see uh, the global statement first. Okay, so uh, this is my SAS Web 2, SAS on demand academics. Uh, this is SAS on online. Okay, SAS on demands. So uh, first, I'm writing one code here. Okay, so let's suppose I'm writing talk report. Okay, my data data is so let's suppose I write it says help dot dot class okay then run statement so this is uh, this I write it okay says help uh, says proc report and so this is my report okay uh, with the help of the proc report okay uh, my data is says help dot class. So now I want one title uh, in the above. What is my report? Okay, what is all about my report? So I'm writing here my report name. Okay, so class report. Okay, so I write it the class report. This is my class report. Then I run it. Okay, now you can see here in the above uh, we have the title statement. So title statement is the above of the pro procedures. Okay, and it does not require run statement. Okay, so also we have the option statements. Okay, so option statement also the global statement and also the lib names. Okay, uh, related to the lib names. So let's suppose you have some directories. So this is all uh, three all are the global statement okay that are available in the says okay so uh, this is uh, does not require the run statement and these are very useful uh, global statement we are frequently using this statement in the says programs okay next is missing value in says a variable data a types determine how missing values for a variable are displayed the following data set uh, let's suppose we have one data set in this we have the name is blank and the age is missing name is missing and age is missing so for character variable such a name is represent with the black blank represents a missing value for the character and if numeric missing value then they show with the period or the you can say dot okay so with the dot the numeric very uh, missing value will be present and for uh, if we have the character of missing value then they will be represent with the blank okay next is a global statement this is the global statement example okay so how we are writing the global statement title uh, i created okay then i write it the title ones okay next global uh, one more statement is there that is a footnote okay let's suppose you write it uh, the title okay now what i'm looking for i'm looking for one the footnote of my data okay class report and here 
so i write it one footnote okay now i select it and i run this okay now you can see here we have the title class report and the my and is class report and here this is my footnote okay so this is a way how we are adding the uh, footnote and the title uh, in the statement okay also the title uh, footnote uh, let's suppose with the footnote uh, what i'm looking for i'm looking for the date okay so uh, i'm writing here so we have the sys date sys date 9 for the current date let's suppose you if you are looking for the current date in your program so we are writing the sys date okay so now you can see a class report end here 10th november 2021 10th november is today's a 10th november okay 2021 they sh they showing the exact current date okay with the sys date so that i write it in the footnote let's suppose if you want add in the title you can add it uh, in the title okay so this is the uh, about the global statement how we are calling the global statement okay next is one more global uh, statement is options so let's suppose now i have one more uh, program here okay in this program what i'm looking for i'm looking for the statement okay so let's suppose i'm writing prof print data my data is says help dot class then run statement okay so now they showing uh, us some data here okay so about the proc of the sashelp dot class now what i'm looking for i'm looking for the observation okay i'm looking for the obs options okay so uh, this is example for the obs statement so how we are calling the obs how we are calling the option statement okay so i write it the uh, one program here okay now what i'm looking for i'm looking for only uh, i'm looking for 1 to 10 only observation i'm not looking for uh, 1 to 19 i'm looking for uh, uh, 1 to 10 observation only okay so we have one global statement that is called the options in the options i'm writing the first obs how many obs you looking for let's suppose one from the one i'm looking for and how uh, till 10 okay so i want my observation from 1 to 10 so i write it 1 to 10. now you can see here 1 to 10 observation is here so let's suppose in the future you are saying i'm looking for the 5 to 15 only okay 5 to 15 uh, observation i want okay so how you have to write it 5 and 15 okay now they will be show you 5 to 15 but your total observation will be 10 okay because the last point is 15 and the first point is 5 so they will be show from uh, first observation 5 and till obvious 15 okay so let's suppose uh, this is the option statement uh, uh, that we are using also we can write in the proc step okay let's suppose this is my proc step if i'm writing in the proc step that is uh, that's also more valid okay if you're not writing in a global so you can write like this one first first obs one and obs how many obs you're looking for let's suppose i'm looking for 15 okay so this is also valid okay if you're not writing the option statement if you're writing the uh, after in the proc step you're writing in the bracket so that is also valid okay so options is a global statement that we are using okay 
but if you're writing in the bracket that is also valid one okay now you can see here when I'm whenever I'm writing the OBS statement so they will be uh, giving default counting of observation 1 2 15 1 2 3 4 4, uh, 4 5 but that is that's not available in my data that is only the counting of the observations how many observations there so now you are saying I'm not looking for this uh, particular observations okay so uh, particular count okay so now we have uh, the option that is the no OBS okay now you need to write here no obs only okay so if you're writing the no obs so then you're uh, counting that observation in the left hand side in first column that is removed now they are showing only the obs okay so this is related to the st uh, proc step in how we are using the OBS statement, okay. Okay, in the OBS we have more steps are there, so no OBS, uh, it is, OBS is used for simply ending point of the first OBS for starting point, OBS max is used for observation will be in the output, no OBS for, it is used for no observation number to be, okay, so uh, this is example for the OBS statement, okay, this is all the example. Okay, coming to the next one. Next is a keep and drop statement. So, what is a keep? Keep is a specify the variable to include in output as data sets. Okay, and drop for excludes. Okay, so let's suppose in my class data. Okay, so keep and drop. So how to write the keep and drop statement. So let's suppose uh, we have uh, some observation. <coughs> okay, how many observation we have, uh, variables we have in this data. So we have, so we have name, sex, age, height and the weight okay what i'm looking for i'm looking for the particular ones i'm not looking for the all ones i'm looking for the particular ones okay so you can write here keep statement keep then let's suppose you are looking for the name age and height okay so three variables i'm looking for only not all these things okay so I write it name, age and the height. Now you can see here name, age and the height it will be there. Now let's suppose if you are saying I'm looking for I'm I'm looking for all the variables excluding few ones. Okay. For that we have the drop statement. Okay. Drop. Now you need to write which you want to drop it. Okay. Let's suppose I want to uh, drop the name. I want to drop height and age. Okay, name, a height and age. I want to exclude it and accept these uh, the two variables. We everything will be here. Okay, so this is a keep and drop statement that uh, we we are using frequently because sometimes we need the particular variables. Uh, in data so that time we are using the that keep and drop statement okay procedure output so let's suppose uh, we have a SAS program open an interactive window a window 
info that you can use to directly modify such a report window okay so we have two types of report uh, so we have first is proc report okay so proc report is basically used for viewing the report and uh, some analysis on that particular report so we are using the sas report okay so let's suppose i'm looking for the how many columns i'm looking for so i'm writing the columns okay it's same like the uh, the keep statement okay so let's suppose i'm looking for name age and the sex of the student then run statement okay now if i run this code now you can see here we have the name age and the sex okay so this is the proc report statement proc report is for the printing the uh, data and for a specific one so you can write the column statement column with the column statement we can easily extract that particular variables okay so next statement we have the proc tablet proc tablet also used for creating the report okay so for analysis for the report okay so proc tablet Okay, my data is says help dot class. Okay, so that I'm looking for in the class. What I'm looking for, I'm looking for the according to the male gender wise. Okay, so I write in the class, then were variable in the birth. What I'm looking for, the height and the weight okay in the verb i write it two variables okay i want the uh, related to the two variables okay now i want one table so how i want the table i want the table according to the height and weight okay comma mean okay that uh, i want the mean of that particular ones okay now you can see here if i run this report so we have one uh, specific report in that report we are they showing the gender wise female height uh, is the this average uh, and weight is 90 okay this is the average one because this is a mean okay uh, so mean male height is 63.91 and weight is 108.95 so this is very easy to uh, create a report with the proc tablet okay so uh, we are using the proc steps for analyzing uh, the uh, analyzing the data okay so next is a proc copy procedure so proc copy is basically we are using uh, in the basic let's suppose if you have some data okay you want copy that data from one uh, location to another location one library location to another location so we are using the proc copy okay so how we are writing the proc copy proc copy okay so let's suppose my data is available in the sas help okay i want that will be out in the work library work is my temporary library i want to save in the uh, that particular one so which data you want i want to select uh, the class data or the cars data okay then run now they automatically copy the sas help uh, from sas help, uh, library to work library okay so now in the logs you can see uh, there was a uh, there were 428 observation read and uh, that in 